Lord, speak to me. Help me to hear. Lord, I miss. Help me to understand. Help me to understand you. Help me, Lord, to understand you. Help me so deep, Lord. Help me to understand. Help me to understand. Now you give me some help. Help me to understand. Help me, Lord, to understand. Help me to understand. So help, Lord, help me to concentrate. Concentration. Maximum concentration. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's put those hands together for the Lord. We've been having this series of angels on assignments, what you need to know about angels. Today is part four, not five. Hallelujah. One of you was part four. Hallelujah. What you need to know about angels. You know, we said a lot of things about angels. Quite a lot. So today we want to see, among other things, how many angels are there. Hallelujah. How many angels are there. So let's go to Psalms 8 verse 17. I ask you the question, how many angels are valid? <laughs> it's a difficult question sentence. Psalm 68, verse 17. Oh God. Hallelujah, just a little down. The chariots of God are what? The chariots of God, you know what chariots are. Those are only just the chariots with their armor tanks. Praise the Lord. The chariots, it's okay. The chariots of God are 20,000. Even thousands of angels. You see, thousands. There's no number to thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, Mount Sinai, where God gave Moses. The commandments. Deuteronomy 33, verse 2. Deuteronomy 33, verse 2. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai. Go to verse 1. Let's begin from verse 1. And this is the blessing where we bless uh, Moses, the man of God, blessed children of Israel before his death. And he said, so he's talking now, Moses, the Lord came from Sinai, that's what the psalmist was talking about, and rose up from Seir, the Mount Seir, unto them. He shined forth from the Mount Peran, and he came with ten thousands of sense. Talking about angels, sense, holy ones. Hallelujah. Daniel 7, 9 to 10. Daniel 7, verse 9 to 10. I bear to the throne were cast down. And the ancient of days, who is ancient of days? Who is the ancient of days? Alright. Did sit. Whose garment was white as snow? And the hair of his head like a pure wool. You know, I saw, you know, I told you one time I saw a man. His hair was pure. Hardly. Like a pure wool. His clothes was like the fiery. Like fire. Uh, the fire can never describe it. So 
you know, we cannot describe what's the spiritual. We, we, the other is in what you know, like, make you understand. It's not that it's really more than yourself. It's something about having to use fat as a fire. <laughs> but, you know, fire is the thing we do here. And it's just like in the hell, people are going to go. Fire is not the kind of fire, any kind of fire you never go to this world. And you can never really use wool to describe how close there is. And then wool is just something we have. So we just use it to. What else will they tell you that you understand? Except the thing that you have. They use it to try to describe him that is something like that, but it's not that thing which you are, you are talking. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because our God is indescribable. You know that song. What else? And his wheels are spun in fire. We're going to see those wheels later. And the earth till the throne. Hallelujah. Okay. A fairy spring, fiery spring issued and came forth. Please note this. Fiery spring, river like fire, or fire like river. Do you understand? Fire like river came up from the forehead. Thousand, thousand, thousands ministered unto him. Who are ministering to him? Thousand, thousands. Which means, now, where are the places? You are busy plugging your phones. When she's on the calculator. Okay, you can play for us now. What is thousand? Thousand. In mathematics, many, some many times some things are by themselves, side by side. It means multiplication. It's in between them. And when you remove brackets, what you do? You put time there. Is it not so? Maybe I did not go to school very well. Okay, so multiply thousand times thousands. Let us see. Thousand times thousand. Thousand times thousand. Thousand times thousand. Is that what we got? Thousand times thousand. Thousand times thousand. Thousand times thousand. Thousand times thousand. There's already confusion because the question will be how many thousands will you multiply it by? Yes. There's already a problem with your mass. Maybe they are telling you that. Just like when they ask Jesus, how many times will somebody sin against him in the day that was for him? So, seven times seven. Which means, like, telling you, how can somebody sin against him? Seventy times. What is seven times seven? What is it? Four and ninety times a day. Is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it's like telling you that, leave that question. <laughs> as many times as somebody offends you, forgive. Now the day. If you know you have a problem forgiving, avoid the person. If you like, don't even ask that person to be you. So that you save yourself from the sin of unforgiveness. Did you understand? Amen. Yeah. Revelation 5. Verse 11. Is it getting interesting? Yes. All this is to make you to know that God is not your base. Do you understand? And that is big enough to take care of you. All of a sudden, you and I go to God's room. God, you are forsaking me. God, you don't love me. <laughs> you won't show you, slap you. <laughs> uh, and I hear, and I hear the voice of what? Many angels around the bounce of throne and the beasts. They are beasts in heaven. Hallelujah. And they are also satanic beasts. There are godly pieces. You remember I was first speaking. He said, and the mind, this man I have fought against a beast in Ephesus. The beast came to fight him. They called it, they called it werewolves. Animal, 
face of Doha or a human being with the face of Doha. Keep our feet in. Are we folks in the world? How can we be Christians who don't know what's in heaven? And that's the heaven we want to go. We don't know what's available to us. We must know the more we know, the more audacious we become. The more our, you know what audacity is, the more you have that pride of heaven that I am backed up. I'm not alone. I am surrounded. Some people call themselves, so we are surrounded by you. Say, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. I'm here. And I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. How many of you knew that there were elders there were before? And the elders. And the number of them was 10,000. Calculate now. The number of them was what? 10,000 times 10,000. What? 10,000 times 10,000. You have calculated that I can provide all these things. You cannot. It's already showing me. Who has better calculator? One hundred million. Now, one hundred million. That is ten thousand times ten thousand, right? Yes. And thousands of thousands. So multiplied by thousands of thousands. What? What is it? Uncountable. Uncountable. So this is the one they saw in one vision. Bam! Like when you use picture uh, camera to snap. What is just snap? Bam! The vision. They didn't even last two minutes vision or one minute. He saw this number. So if they are carried to the fall around heaven, it will just die. Because even this one he saw, he fainted. He fainted. He collapsed. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12, 22. Hebrews 12, 22. But ye are come to church, to Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God. Where is Mount Zion? The city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem, and to the innumerable company of angels. Uncountable, that's what he said. Innumerable. Uncountable. What is something that's numerical you can count? It's with numbers. So this one is innumerable. Don't even bother to know how many. So there are too many. Fear not. They that are with us are more than they that are with us. 
be there. Say it again. Hear yeah. us. For they that are with us are more than they that are with them. And one of the servants, one of the servants said, No, my Lord. Now, the, 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 the king of uh, Syria was trying to capture the king of Israel to kill him. He was trying to redeem him, sending people somewhere where he passes to kill him. But by the prophet Elijah, he was always, Elisha was always telling the people of Israel, Don't pass there, or we want to kill you. And he would send messengers there and he the story. And it happened again and again. Now, the other king that wants to kill the people of Israel, he's not saying this, but there's so many among us that is telling <laughs> that, that king. They say one of his servants said, No, my Lord, go okay. But Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, said, Let the king of Israel, the words that thou speakest in thy bed chamber. Let it be the top of your bed, the prophet, the teller, the king of Israel. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. You know what fashion means? Come on, fashion. Come on, fashion by a wound. You know what it means? <laughs> fashion. And it was so insane. The old is in Dota. Wherefore, send me either horses and chariots and a great host with his soldiers and they came by night and compassed the city. Because they want to arrest one man. Then compass the city with army with soldiers on another way. And when the servants of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, the old and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes. He said, Lord, open my eyes, that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire. These ones are chariots of fire. The other one didn't have fire. The wife of the king did not carry fire. This one's carry fire. So we don't know it. They came brought his people and to surround this man of God. Surrounded the city so that no care you will escape from. Just imagine someone wants to arrest you. They now surrounded the whole of Lekki and Shambhuta. So that anywhere you pass, they will catch you. But they, don't, they, they did not know that some other shadows are with horses which fire. They surrounded them. And the man of God just said, okay, what shall we do? Just we just pray to God, the angel just blinded all of them. People that came with weapons were blind. They had to beat them. They led them to the same king of Israel they want to kill. It was there, they commanded their eyes to open, their eyes open, they were in the midst of other soldiers. So the king of Israel wanted to kill them. He said, Don't kill those who are carrying out. Just beat them. Kill them too. Let them be the king and go back. Sometimes that's how to the enemy. It's not every time we kill any day. <laughs> That's why there is a scripture that says, if the parents in the table before me in the end, 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 in I want us to look at heaven. How are we? Heaven. Different heaven. How many heavens do you think exist? How are we? How many do you think? Praise the Lord. Psalm 8, verse 1. Read the scripture, scripture, Psalm 8, verse 1. And verse 3. O oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. How many heavens? 
above what? The heavens. So that's the trend of the Now, not verse 3. When I consider thy heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast obtained. So there is an heaven also where the moon and the stars are sleeping. Which means the moon and the star, they are in heaven. So the question is, which of the heavens are <laughs> Because now say that they are heavens. Then we are saying, when I consider thy heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars. Now, is that where God says, does God say the moon and the stars? Mm-hmm. Huh? You are not sure. You don't want to sure. So. Amen. Psalm 13, verse 4. Psalm 13, verse 4. The Lord is high above what? All the nations, and His glory above the heavens. You didn't see that one. I'm not sure you saw it. What is it? The Lord is what? He's high above all the nations. He's high above the United States, high above Nigeria, high above all nations. The Lord is high above where? all nations, and His glory above the heavens. He's above the heavens. Not where the moon and the star are. There's a devil that will say that. Where's the Lord? The Prince of the Power of the Earth. Okay, let me show you three types of weapons that are known that we can prove from scripture. Praise the Lord. So three types of weapons known by our knowledge of scripture. Number one, the atmospheric heaven. Atmospheric heaven. That is this firmament, this sky, you see, this water, you see. If you go to Genesis, you will see that when God was Genesis from one door was put to the earth, say it caused a firmament to form in between the water. And the firmament divided the water that is down and the water that is up. That firmament is the sky. That's the atmosphere. So there's water above the earth. That's why we don't have to say the praise of God. You don't know that there is a sky above the earth. There is water above the earth. Amen. So that is the uh, this atmospheric heaven is this atmosphere. All this one our eyes are seeing now. This heaven our eyes are seeing. Praise the Lord. Then the second heaven is what I believe to be where the prince of the power of the air. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. That second heaven where a lot of powerful demons. I run the demons, agents of the devil. I run the ones stay to heal down your prayers. No wonder, you know, we read uh, Daniel last Sunday, where Daniel was praying, and the prince of Persia stopped the angel coming to Daniel. So the prince of their people, somewhere there, who tried to stop things. I'm coming to you. I was talking to example. Praise the Lord. See, just listen. Anything you miss after close. It's me to be listening now, not anybody. Hallelujah. Listen. Praise the Lord. You might be missing some things. So, no, why I'm satisfying this that you should know that when you are growing, the Sometimes there are forces that are trying to hinder you. And where is their location? Look at Bishop. He said, We are in the time past, you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. So there's a prince of the power of the air that controls the behavior of the people. And these princes, there are many of them, over nations. And we saw them over the nation of Persia. So it was called the place of what? Persia. Because that was his territory. You remember when Jesus met uh, the demonite, the man that said, I'm a in Mount of the Fire. The man begged him, so we are a So what is that? So we are a We are a 
Now we know that each of these is that and so we are teaching. You can imagine how many people. So we don't have many how many teachers are living inside and so we are teaching. Hallelujah. That's why he was mad, he was crazy. He was living in graveyard. He was cutting himself with stone like man. He was shocked, he was in fear, he was screaming all the time. The chain they were the chains to break was a power. When he met Jesus, the demons were there. He said, Do not cast us away from this country. We don't want to be away from this country. So, yeah, they are living inside a man and they are saying, This country. How many? <laughs> Say, do not cast us away from this country. Uh -huh. So in the spirit realm, there are countries, they have their own countries. In the spirit realm, it may not be Nigeria as one country. It might not be Nigeria as a Republic of Ghana. They are one country. Being guided by one demon. Praise the Lord. Because their own geography is not like a geography. Praise the Lord. But your village may be part of one country that is added somewhere. Then whatever we don't care, we must die. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So there's prince of the power of the earth. And we heard Daniel say, the prince of Persia, when I was coming down with your result, he stopped me. Um, where did he stop him? Somewhere. We don't know, but we know it's in the air. Maybe it's a corner where it was. So where, where do you think you are going? <laughs> they love the gates. That room, but the mind is said that God sent on him. The angel he said was one telling Daniel that they imprisoned him. <laughs> Until one of the chief princes, chief princes, so God also has prince and one of the chief princes, the man called who? Michael. Are you for you for me that one? The very understand God has they came and freed me. And that's why I came now. 21 solid days. Amen. Amen. So, this second heaven is the whole. Here yeah, is the place, is the abode place for powerful things that resist our answers during prayers. Or resist good things from coming to us. So, look at it this way. For example, an angel is looking at your job. It's going for you. And the prince of Pastor, I will wish about him myself. They capture that and collect the thing for him. Keep it. Or your just is lying down. The prayer force is not enough. They just capture it. Put it in their spanning warehouse. That's the way they you go to visit the doctors. The doctors can collect from there and give to them. The one communicates with the spirits. That's why they fly from it. They communicate that when this person consulted you, uh, with the means in charge, they said, okay, let us communicate with the powers in the air of sorcery. We now communicate. And they are able to get charge from the warehouse where they have stolen them and they give to that person. But because it's not coming from them, their soul are there to it. The devil does not produce children, does not produce enemies. Every good and perfect is from where? From the world. They will let steal them because the Bible said it's a thief. John 20, right? It's a thief. He comes to steal. It's always steal. It's from the stolen goods. He gives away. He also not the stolen. And everything stolen from you. There's restoration. Amen. Amen. So the third devil. The third devil. Which is the abode of God. This is where God's throne is. Where does God live? <laughs> where does He live? You are talking as if I'm not sure. Say it! Is it heaven or heaven? With S, where God stays? Where?
there was a fuel issue there and the road was blocked. We were living in Bangalore in Nigeria and you could not even drive. You can't turn, you can't, but just for the front, what other villages you could not turn. Queue everywhere, traffic. So we said, okay, let's just go to one church, house on the road. Very great, powerful man of God there. And they had a guest minister. And the man was saying, was teaching, said, God does not live in heaven. He said many crazy things. The church was divided. Majority are supporting him. It was so bad that people were talking, discussing when church goes. Me too, I turned to the people at my back. I was giving them a hug. <laughs> 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 Everybody got the t shirt. The church was, even the pastor was confused. The senior pastor came up and said, Well, this man. Just like Peter said about four, God has given him great wisdom that he says some things that are hard for us to understand. Now, look at it. Matthew 6, verse 9 to 10, that year for Jesus. Matthew 6, 9 to 10. Are you here now? Our for after this manner, therefore pray ye. Our what? Who lives in heaven? Who art in heaven? Is who lives in heaven? Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. God wants what is happening in heaven to happen here. The one of the questions that this man of God asked was that he said, Where was God when he made the heavens and the earth? Now you now see that there are many heavens. So the heaven that God was making the, when he created the heaven and the heavens and the earth is not where it stays. Praise the Lord. It's not where it stays. He made the heavens and the earth, the ones that concern us. Are you confused? He was saying, if God is in heaven, then where was God when he created the heavens and the earth? But even if we say that where God was living, was not existing, are you going to live somewhere? You need to build the house. So you think God cannot build his own house where he would live if he wanted to? So in that way, it's wrong. Okay, God was living in space, he was just living in space. Then he used it, this was said. What is wrong with that? I built his throne. Is there anything wrong with that? Hallelujah. So what I am trying to say is that before God put the heavens and the earth, he lived in heaven with his throne. Let us see Paul and his mysterious vision. 2 Corinthians 12, 1 to 5. Because some people say, okay, you've given us scripture. How do we know that there's anything God told them? One to five, right? It is not expedient for me, that bless the glory. I'm not feeling the crowd, the glorified myself to the day proud. I will come to visions and revelations. Now, I knew a man in Christ. You say you knew a man in Christ. About 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knows. Please are not really understand it. Such a one or a one, such a man, caught up to get to the two them. Hallelujah. He was caught up to where? To the two them. If there's third then we should know that there will be first and second. If there's more than third, we don't know about that one. At least, we will not see it here. But, who said there could not be? Praise the Lord. Because there are those that won't believe that there are seven heavens. Okay, how do you know? Hallelujah. <laughs> so let us stay where that will stop, where we go. Hallelujah. And I knew such a man, whether in the body, after the body, I cannot tell God where. 
Verse 4. Now that he was cut up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. He was saying some kind of things that men are not allowed to say. Which that guy was not allowed to say. And then Paul too was confused. Of such an a one with I glory. Is that kind of a man? I'm that kind of a man. I am not in my level now. I will not go to bed in my bed. It's verse 6. For though I will desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which is yet for me to be, or that he heareth from me. It's not about you did today, right? It's not about nobody should talk more than the person has seen of him, or he cannot be proud and arrogant, and take glory more than the devil is, because there's one man is saying, I don't know if you were that man, you can say yes, I can post. But the man was caught up. So do we believe that it's for them? So God is in the highest of heavens. Say so God is in the highest of heavens. Ephesians 4 verse 10. Ephesians 4 verse 10. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. That it might be of God. So when Jesus ascended into heaven, he said, He ascended far above with how many heavens? All. So as many as the type of heavens. Then there may be. In case there's anyone more than the third, that the they are highest of the heavens. That's what Jesus wants. Ephesians 1 20 to 22. Ephesians 1, 20 to 22. You know, this scripture is talking about Jesus Christ, you know all these things. Which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Far above all principalities and powers and mind and dominion. Hmm. So you see, we're going to look at his ranks looking at something. Jesus went far above when he resurrected. Far above the heavenlies. Far above the heavenlies, which means far above all levels. Far above the case you do not understand. Far above the principality, which means the principalities are in the heavenlies also. Do you, do you get it? Because he went far above all the heavens. Now they are not telling you he go past principality, so he, the man go past powers. <laughs> Far above with all his powers and might and dominion. Some of the other thrones. Hallelujah. And every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. That was supposed to stop. Verse 22. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. So Christ is the head of the church. So you see here Christ, and where did Christ go? Say far above the heavens. And in case you do not know the heavens, say far above where principalities stay. Where principalities stay in the heavens. They don't stay here. Praise the Lord. This from there they did command to the demons here. Yeah, that's why you need to blast the Lord that day. But the speech is I'm telling you about. They are all trying to get more blood to increase in rank so that they can go and attend meeting in the heavenlies. Every witch or devil that is able to go to attend meeting in the heavenlies, that's a dangerous one. Praise the Lord. Not only this one that are attending meeting on top of a tree, on top of a banana leaf, sir. On top of a banana leaf, sir. The ones that can ascend them, you know that they are serious. Praise the Lord. Let's look at some heavenly things and then uh, let's look at some heavenly things. So who are the people in heaven? What are the people in heaven? Apart from angels, what are the other things or people? Let's look, not, we cannot look at all the things in heaven. 
the few you can check. The ones that are important to us now. Number one, set our games. Just set our games. We have the set of games, we have the shield of games. That's where should be my staff in church. They collected us in the <laughs> <laughs> that, like I say, is helpful in church. They say they have a help. We are like a. Mimo, Mimo. So we see the Mimo, Mimo every single year now. We see. Hallelujah. A lot of them were calling me yesterday. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 6, 6 to 9. So we have the shadow games. We have the set of games. We have the. The beasts, beasts, or the living creatures. And we have the 24 elders. So we have the set of names. We have the share of names. We have the beasts, or the four living creatures. And then we have the 24 elders. So now let me find them number one. Number one, Seraph names. One is called Seraph. Praise the Lord. One is called what? But the thing is that nowhere have we found in the Bible where God says these ones are angels. Are they? God in the Bible did not actually say these ones are angels. But many people believe that they are, they are the type of angel. Are they? Now please, I just want to let me say that. I want to ask you, do angels have wings? They have wings. Let me let me. Praise the Lord. Like what I'm like. Do they have yes or no? Yes. Who said yes? Who said no? Okay, yes. Who said yes? Who said no? Okay, now. Those of you that say yes, you have proof from this Bible that angels have wings.
that has life. They are telling that all oh, aliens are your friends. They are trying to prepare your mind. They are not aliens in films, they are talking cartoon, coming to relate to people, telling them things, teaching them things. Before you know it, a demon will now appear to you in the sky line. You will now see it as a friend because you are watching it in the film. That's how you open the door. That's why you have to be careful what you watch. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 6, 67. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go from verse 1. Let's just read the old thing so that you see it. Verse 1, verse 7. Not today, there's no much explanation because you can see the scripture by yourself. Now. The scriptures like, if then you see the scripture where it said, angel has wings, please bring it. Means I want to read it. <laughs> Because this thing, I, 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 I know that some people are like, I'm pastor, but I, okay. If we cannot prove anything from the Bible, why should we believe it? The interesting thing I know, when they appear to you, they appear to you, most times, in like, why? They are always like, why? Like, as if it's a garment or water or something. It's like, what kind of thing? They appear to you. Sometimes they appear like men, ordinary men. Like one that appeared to Abraham, that appeared to Lot, that went to remove them from Sulaim and Kula. The one that appeared to Samson, the warrior that killed uh, Lion. That Samson, the angel that appeared to his mother, appeared like a man. He should even call him a man or a prophet. Praise the Lord. What they knew was an angel. Hallelujah. Even the angel that appeared to Balaam, that wanted to sword. The people that drew pictures of four wings. Because it's a mentality that I know if you want to have said this thing now, if they try to draw an angel, you must go wings. Two of us. People are moving. If the wind is not there, it's not complete. They cannot be arranged. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne. I am lifted up, and his strength went his garment. His strength filled the temple. Above it stood the cedar beams. Above his throne, above, take note of this thing, but I'm that above his throne, on top, above, which means see his throne, they are above. Maybe like hiding his throne or whatever. Hallelujah. Each one had six wings. Say six wings. With two, twin is two. With twin, they cover his face. And with twin, they cover his feet. And with twin, they did fly. So they used two wings to cover their face. They used two to cover their legs, their feet. And with two, they do the believe They did fly. Definitely. You, you whatever, everybody creation or anything, you cannot just be above God like that. You have to cover your face. Something because the light alone is crazy. And the feet, many scholars believe that they cover their feet as a sign of respect. That God should not be seeing their feet. So God gave them all the Hallelujah. Yeah. And one, one of the setup is like cried to another, one is shouting to another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. <coughs> Remember this holy, holy, holy is the Lord of course. <coughs> yeah, all oh, well, is not the story. Verse 4. And the post of the door moved, and the voice of him that cried, Hallelujah. Yeah. And the house was what? The house was filled with, with what? Smoke. Smoke. Hallelujah. Then I said, Woe is me, for I am what? Undone. undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of what? Unclean people. For my hands are what? For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, verse 6. 
Then you know one of the sinners unto me, having a, a life goal in his hand. I think you can show us one of some of those pictures now, I forgot. Which you are taking from the tongues, from off the altar. You kind of want long tongue, more iron rod. You know, tongue that just like, well, those fried bones, you know, sometimes it's something like this. You can press it, you can stick it like this. You know that? Yes. yes. They took one pole and put on the tongue. So your sins are gone. Out of it. There's seven now. Then the one of the slides, okay, I've said that. If you can, if you have a picture, you can only let us send us out. Out of it. No, 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 not this one. Okay, you don't have the one with, but you can take it from my phone as well. That will be showing the front of the letters. I will be showing the front of the letters. These are the living creatures. The fast. Which means you didn't take that one. So we see that they worship God, right? And they say, well, if you want to stand there and sing, right? You can stand there. Hallelujah. So they worship God and also purify the saints. Is it not true? He took all the fire and put on the stone, so your sins are uh, purified. Them. So they take all uh, of fire to purify the saints and they also worship God. They stand above the throne of God. Number two. So we have seen the same arguments. They are God. Six wings. What do they do with the six wings? Two to cover their face, two to cover their feet. I'm surprised that you don't have it. Okay. You see that? But this one is not showing, this is actually the, the, the beast. So it's not showing the one covering their face. You don't have a picture of the devil playing that. Now let's look at the shield of babies. One is called shield. Now, I had the tree of good and life. I'm just saying, 
in answer was naked. He was not naked before. Now he's naked. <laughs> Something left. The glory of the Lord was covering. That glory left him. He now saw that we are naked. He was left alone. That's why anything to keep God's glory alive, we do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I remember sometimes, sometimes ago, someone met me. The person was running from me. That's why I run it. Tell me, no, no, no. I see a sword in front of you. Fire. I don't feel like this. I just like this. They tell you, the when I was reading this scripture, this thing came to my mind. That's why I wrote it down. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't even know what is in your front. You don't know what is guiding you. That somebody else is saying it. So, but I'm showing you from scripture that you are highly defended. Nobody can threaten you anyhow and go away like that. Praise the Lord. Because they, there are munitions around you that are too many. The heavenly creatures, the beasts, they are too many. So, from today, you want to sleep like a child. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. So, Just look at only him. You understand that. 
because he collected is the summary of everything. Say, don't talk too much. Just look at this man. Don't take your time to study this one. Study it. Just look at this man. You summon the world. That was the seal of the Zendler. The seal. The seal. Perfect in this. Okay, let's go back to our kingdoms so that we can go for better outside. Verse 7. Thou has been in Eden. She may not tell you how many times I don't know. Thou has been in Eden. The garden of God. Was that king in Eden before? This was like the water in Eden. So it's not about that king. Thou has been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. Was decorated. The Sardis, the topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the olives, and the jasper, the sapphire. That's all the name of God is saying. Now, why would I call it that way? The sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and what? Gold. The workmanship of thy. And of thy pipes, there is something about this mystical instrument now. Hallelujah. Were prepared in deep in the day that was created. Though thou, uh, though at the anointed show, okay, thou at the anointed show, that you are the anointed show. That you are one of the anointed cherubim. You are the anointed cherub that covered. You see where the cherubs go right? And I have set this soul that was upon the holy mountain of God. It was where? In the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down. In the midst of the smoke of fire. Yes, sir. Okay. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day thou was created till iniquity was found. But you come from it. Where is the Lord? The two are done. So, Lucifer. Satan, it was Lucifer, when was the shield. That was his name, Lucifer. He became the devil. Satanic. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> it's not the call it Shiton. <laughs> he gave the Shiton. Praise the Lord.
you know that the prayers of the saints are not accepted in the holy days. In the days of the high priest. So inside the Ark of Covenant, you have Aaron's Lord. Can you show us this one? The Aaron's Lord that bought them. You have the tables of the covenant, which means the laws of Moses. And you have the golden pots that has manna inside. So this talks about revelation that when you continue to go into the place of the Lord, you have access to the things inside the cities. Revelation. Hallelujah. Revelation. Why God give you from the manna to eat? And it opens the books inside that the enter and direct. You can see that too. The way it's clear, right? So that you don't go. Hallelujah. Now, can you see all these things? Is it possible? So this is the uh, Ark of the Covenant. This is the lid that was open that time. This place was open. These are the shadows. This is the golden no, They will carry. You show us the picture that they are going to carry. And they, so you see the loss of Moses inside. Everything is inside. The meeting place with God is where God meets. God comes down from the earth. His glory will appear in this place. Only the high priest is inside there. Everybody comes down. Praise the Lord. Show us the dark. I want you to show me something here. Look at the carpet. Can you see it now? This is the act of God. This is the act that doesn't work when they take this thing. God's glory is incapable. Because when they are going to work, they must go this. And this is how they must carry it. But there's a time to some people now carry it on top of bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that thing that that bicycle per se, you saw that thing. It was just that they was carrying the ark when the person seized it. But now they think if they are taken, destroy them, they are afraid. The ark of Israel, come and carry it to <laughs> And as we are bringing it to David's house, they, instead of carrying it like this, the way God said, they just, somebody invented Bible, and so they said, this is the school that you have to be Bible. God love, And the thing wanted to fall, a man put his hand, go feel it. David said, no, this thing cannot go to my house. This is like a <laughs> That's how they took it to the house of Obedeo. Within three months, his life changed. They said, hey, this man won't come with a basket. We will not correct this. Uh, David was bringing it um, to this way, but that's, that's, that's when it's where I looked at it from the video. We have to come and join the group. We were sorting it. After I think power, I came to bless his family. We were sorting it. So she said she came back. She was rich. She remembered back at the other days. So you see, now show me the tabernacle. The one that's at the beast inside the house, the two houses. I think about two. Um, so you see the people camping here, all Israelites, they camp here, right? They are not built the house. Show me the house first before you see the inside. So people are outside camping, then this is a bad night. You like canopy. Praise the Lord. Okay. So you see, people are outside. The priests are here. Are they there? The one they get here, this is what they call the holy. Then the inner inner place is what they call the most holy or the holy of holies. That holy of holies, everybody stays outside here. If they want to pray to God, they can even come to this outer court. They can stay here. Then the priest, high priest, when you enter here, you see the candle, seven lamp candles. Hallelujah. Uh, when we read the, the, the New Testament, around the shield and stuff, they are flashing torches. But what else can they use to describe them here? They always can do them. They always want to have to so, like, describe the thing. Excuse me. So, now, okay, good. The people are here. The priests are here, some people are here too, waiting. And then the high priest, look at the high priest, look at his dressing. He enters here, here you have the show bread, you have the seven lamp stand and some things. This is where David coming from all entered during the show bread. <laughs> then 
But when the high priest will enter inside that holy of holies, it's only the high priest. And he will enter that holy of holies once in a year. They will not enter there another time. And when they sent him there, he stand there with his incense cup. He's doing it. And then the glory of the Lord will come down. You see the ark there. He goes to the ark where the ark is doing. He will move around doing his thing. Then he gets to the ark. After he has poured himself with blood, and poured all the people with blood of goods and rams, before he enter there and go there, these seven lamps of God talk about the seven spirits of God that sent him to all the earth. Now he goes down there as worshiping God, the glory of the Lord will come down. In between the shadows from on top, in between all the messes. He goes to the Lord, have mercy on us. But he doesn't want to say that we have committed the past one year. Now look at that. See the incense stuff. The fire. To the early years. To the early years. To the early years. Now see the shadows. See the Shekinah glory. As he said, the Shekinah. That's why you want to hear Shekinah. Hallelujah. Now, the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are here in that place. Hallelujah. So, this worship, I'm going to pray it here. So, you see these shows, they are, they are protecting the glory of God. So, they are, they are the shows that come, the shows that come far. So, when the Bible is saying they are not just shows that come far. Talking about this, that was what was supposed to be. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether I get it. Are you sure? Uh, I want to see the priest, the priest in the door with the bell. The bell that I have. You didn't take that one. Oh my God. Put it down a little bit. Are you sure? Oh. And there's no internet for you to be checked out. The priest is dressed up. show us the one that we show priest. There was one dagger that was saw the priest. You see the priest. You see this is never like this. Bells are, are tied, it's not more better. I don't know that the bells yesterday. You didn't take them from my phone. Okay? You didn't take them. So the bells are around this garment like that. And then they tie a long rope to his waist. So there are people in this place now. See, the rope is very long, the laps are. As it's going around, doing this thing. The first one, they are making us, they know that everything is well with them. If they don't hear the bell again, they will join in that. Because it's dead. God has killed them. Because God is angry, God has done something. And nobody can enter inside there to bring them. Everybody that enters there will die. So they have to drag you. They drag you. So the high priest is dead. You have to wait for the prophets to come and declare that this is already the new priest for now. The high priest will shoot from among the priests or whoever God wants. Nobody dare to have this opposition. You dare not. Now the Bible is telling us that. Okay, let me not say that one ahead of time because it's written here. Okay. Oh my God. Um, let me just read the blue lines that will close. Because we cannot even go on with children's stuff. There are too many things. Uh, next one, we'll just talk about the rest of the children's story. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
primarily the first covenant and also ordinances of the divine. Okay, you know what's all in the scripture we didn't read? Exodus 25, 17 to 21. Did you read it? Exodus 25. You want to read that scripture of the past and then show you. Exodus 25, 17 to 22. And thou shalt what? Make a mercy seat. But for that seat, for that corner, where the angels are sitting, is the mercy seat. So when you hear Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says, let us come boldly under the throne of grace that we might obtain grace and find help and mercy. That, that's the mercy. See, that's where you are coming. So God wanted to show the people how it's like there. Lead people to uh, see it here on that. But this thing says a shadow, like a type of what is revealed in there. Praise the Lord. So that in Revelation, we will not see what is actually there. And why we don't really need the physical uh, act of the covenant and all that. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold. I'm not talking. Okay? Hallelujah. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold, two cubits, and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and half the dimension. The cubit is more than a meter. And the uh, next verse. And thou shalt make two cherubs, cherubims of gold. Shall make what? Two cherubims of gold. Of beating work. Shall thou make them in two ends of the mercy seat, one on this end, one on this end. And make one shiru. You see, one is called shiru, two are called shiru things, many shiru things. And make one shiru on the one end, and the other shiru on the other end. Even of the mercy seat shall it make the shiru things on the two ends thereof. And the shiru things. That stretch forth their wings. Are you seeing it now? See, they stretch forth their wings on the mercy seat. Covering the mercy seat with their wings, and their faces shall look one to another towards the mercy seat. Shall the faces of the children, which means they are facing each other by looking at themselves, by looking at the mercy seat. They're like, God, oh, have mercy on them. Hallelujah. <laughs> And that shall put the mercy seat above upon the ark. So you see that that's what the ark. And in the ark, thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give to you. The testimony, the words, the law. You put them there. And there I will meet with thee. That's where I will meet. You want to meet me? Come to that place. Hallelujah. Between the shield. On the ark of the Lord, I'll be there. And I will come in with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims, which are upon the ark of the testament. Of all things which I will give thee in the commandments unto the children of <coughs> So you see that that ark is where the people of God will meet him. We are not priests today, that's what we we'll call to meet God. And I will tell you where this act of covenant and the mercy seat, everything to us today. Praise the Lord. Did I answer that question? It was a unit. Your body is the temple of the living God. So all these things you are talking about. So the place you need God is in your heart. And you have to know that these things are not limits. God is not limited. God was saying, here. It's no longer on the physical thing. It's now your body is temple. So, and that Holy of Holies is inside you. So, just imagine if that Holy of Holies inside you, who can come and kill you or oppress you. That place that won't kill priests, high priests. Will the team of that come? Can you hold the team of the living inside you? If you have this mentality that the Holy of Holies is there, the shows, they are out there. I believe. 
you cannot be touched in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's close with Hebrews um, chapter 9, from verse 1. So the next time we continue from there. We'll continue from the Ezekiel's mission. Okay? So the explanation of all these things now. Then, very big, the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. It's what? Worldly sanctuary. That beauty that we saw. Before you now see holy or holy sister, the sanctuary has the outer courts. You now have like the middle courts. Where you find all those uh, the candlesticks and the showbread and all those things. Then you now have the inner court. That inner court is the holy of holies. But there was a tabernacle there. The first, where in was the candlestick you see now. When you enter the tabernacle, the first place you find the candlesticks. And the table, there's a table there. And the show bread. So the show bread is there. Bread is there. <laughs> They call that one the sanctuary. So they call that tabernacle the sanctuary. That tabernacle is the sanctuary. So when you enter the sanctuary, you will see the table, the showbread is there, the, the candle that are lighting. Even Zachariah, Zachariah chapter 4, verse 6 7, saw the vision of the golden candlesticks. All of them go. After the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. So I am also that once you enter the tabernacle, you see all the children of the sky. Then there's now a curtain. Do you have that picture? There's now a curtain. Separating that first side from the inside. So when you remove the curtain, you see the holy of holies. For example, so you see the curtain here now. You see this outside. This is the tabernacle, the sanctuary. You enter it, this is the first place. Then there's a curtain here. See, there's a curtain here. I see the curtain. When you go the curtain, that's the veil. When Jesus died, is that curtain that Paul will <laughs> Which means everybody now has access. You can now enter. You are unstoppable into the throne of God. You don't need any priest. Before you can now enter, somebody to ask him and pray for you. Even if they are not seen vision, it's only kings and priests and prophets that are seen vision. Or God will talk to you. Except God also uses specifically for something. We can talk to you. Otherwise, everybody looks to a prophet to come and tell them what the Lord has said. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Because you don't have access to revelation. But now the curtains were shattered. Hallelujah. Someday we look at the thickness of the curtain. It was so thick that it's not possible. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you see, and here now there are sacrificing animals there. They don't matter to you. Some there they will clean themselves up when they enter that place. Okay, now, so go back to that scripture. After the second veil, the, tab uh, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all, or holiest of all, which had the golden censer, golden censer for the incense to the Golden sensor. And the Ark of the Covenant. You've seen the Ark of the Covenant. Overlay not about, which means is they laid it around the back. Even though it's wood, they used to make it, but they now it's wood to eat it around. Where it was the golden pot, golden pot is inside. What is the golden pot from the scripture? What is the golden pot? The manna, praise the Lord. The golden cup which has the manna, and Aaron's rod that bought it, and the tables of the covenant, which are the testimony, the words of God, the, the commandments of God. And over it, the cherubims of glory, shadowing the mercy seat. Cherubims, the shadow, the covenant. Of which you cannot speak particularly. Praise the Lord. Now, when these things were thus or they, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing 
the service of God. Enter that first place. That reference was to come to the Lord. So that do everything he wants to do. But into the second, went the high priest alone. Only the high priest who enter into that one, so that no God is permitted. Once a year. When will he enter every day? Once a year. Not without blood. He must go with blood. Which he offered for himself and for the errors of his people. But the high priest will have to pay. He has sacrificed himself. He's holy. He does not need himself to be clean. Hallelujah. We don't need to be animals in him because he has died once and for all. And his blood is sick for us. So with that blood, that's why the conscious of the blood, when you go to the tabernacle of God, the blood of Jesus is in your heart. You are put the altar with the blood. Hallelujah. Say to Jesus, you died for me. It's just your blood that set me free. From the more of captivity. So as we are praying, picture the mercy seat. Picture the Shekinah glory coming down. Hallelujah. Okay, let's pass. The Holy Ghost, now look at it. With all this is that I said, he said the Holy Ghost using this to signify to us that the way into the Holy Yes, the Holy Supposed was not yet made to manifest. They have not really opened it up to us. Why, as the first tabernacle was yet standing, the time that that tabernacle was existing, God is telling us that that holy of holies would not have access to it at that time. The priest has to go and be doing it for us. Then when Jesus came as the high priest, he shut down the holy of holies. See, everybody enter. Praise the Lord. That access on the other access. Now, verse 9. Which was a figure of the time then present. Was a figure. Something to show you what was coming. In which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience. So even if I think the sacrifice is not perfect, is he a guilty conscience? That's why we are saying that when the enemy is trying to bring back what you have done on before against you, even though you have confessed and you have accepted Christ, you see, it is the blood of animals that cannot remove the guilt that gives you conscience. You committed a sin 10 years ago. You are still saying, for oh, oh, that sin, you see, you are like a sin. You are like a sin. Even the person I again. Which was a figure for the time when present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to the conscience. But his conscience was still worrying him. And the day, which means the blood was only covering the sin. The blood was only covering the sin, did not forgive them. The guilty conscience was not clear. Which took only in meat and drink and diverse worships and carnal glasses, or carnal glasses, imposed on them until the time of the formation. They were doing all these things until the time of the formation. Verse 11. But Christ, being come, and high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle. Not made with hands, that is to say, not of this beauty. So we are talking about. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place. So where is the holy place Christ entered? Not that tabernacle. That tabernacle on ground was used to describe. What's happening there? So God, Jesus went to the main tabernacle, <laughs> the main place of heaven, and offered the sacrifice once. That's why I told the main one, don't touch me, I've not gone to heaven yet. Praise the Lord. They carry 
carried all your sin, he went to heaven. All our sin went to heaven. By his blood. And he presented the case. And the conscience was blotted. You know, everything was clean. Hallelujah. And that by the blood of God. He used the blood of God. But by his own blood, he entered in once. Not every year. Once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. After I don't die for us. For if the blood of bulls and goats and ashes of an elephant, you know, because they will kill animals, they will they are some of burn it. After burning it, it does not turn to the ashes so that they will sprinkle on the people. There was some people marking you with, <laughs> with ashes. <laughs> Oh, they also say that uh, so that you know that you come from the ground, so you should have to pack your ashes every year. You come and tell you, you remember that your head is not bad, so there's nothing wrong with it. To remind you that you are from the ground, that that's where you are going, so you're not the power. Hallelujah. In the middle of books and those, and the ashes of an earth are sprinkled on the earth, sanctified to the purification of the flesh. How much more? Yeah, that's okay. How much more shall what? The blood of Jesus through go through the eternal spirit. Oh, the spirit of the Lord. Assistant me. Offer himself without spot. Not good that has spot. Without spot to God. Purge your conscience. You see that? The blood of Jesus purges your conscience. From devils. So any person who did that, the blood of Jesus, wipes it out. Because it's stronger than the blood of those. Is that the same thing? And for this cause, he is the mediator of the new covenant that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions, the sins that were under the first testament. Old Testament. They which are called are called might receive the promise of the eternal inheritance. Hallelujah. That's why Hebrews chapter 12 will let us know that we have the better testament. Hallelujah. So I've given the group this group. So you, you are seeing what is in heaven. So it means that in heaven, God is on the throne. His glory is there. The shadows are overshadowing that glory. I'm below him. After the other end, we see that the sin of things are over. All the show of things are around and just by his glory. That's why they say that the show of things are the closest to God. They are the closest, like in proximity to God. So, I have this from what we see in the Bible is that the, 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 the summary you see the sin of things up there. You see the shoulders, close You see the beasts there, around and in the middle of the front. You see the twenty-four elders sitting around and in front of the front, holding bars. Hallelujah! And on Sunday I'll tell you what these those that the twelve elders are holding. What are they? How they relate to you? And those beasts, there are many things that are happening on the earth. Those things are happening because of what they say. Yeah. So it means that there is something you can make them say that will affect this place that will lead you to that part. Because some of you will say, Pastor, what did you sign us? We sign all these things. Everything that's in the Bible is for you. There are voices they make, there are things they do that affect everything here. I believe that it will affect you. Have any question? Otherwise, I know that this one today you don't have a question. Maybe it's just something you might have to agree So don't let your conscience stop you again. Don't commit sin. Do you understand? But in case you did something past before, or maybe you did something tomorrow, and you are really sorry, you turn around, you repent. Repent means to turn around. Hallelujah. Are you part of You turn around. Then you forsake it. You don't do it again. 
then what is done, we also pray that the evil that, that happened to you because of that TNT, that God can save. And that you choose your mark and cancel every evil thing that are planted by the Lord of sin. Everything I've stolen from you, Lord, I pray by your blood. I come to your mercy seat. Hmm? Because I'm hearing the mercy seat, mercy seat, but today you are getting a big picture of the mercy seat. I've come to your throne of mercy. Let me find grace. Let me find advantage. Now I told you about grace advantage. Let me find you, God. Have mercy. So when you see that for mercy, it's on that throne of mercy. The throne of grace. But whatever grace is, mercy is always there. So when the, the destroyer wants to destroy you, the mercy seat will say, the shield of grace is no.
of course, from this thing. And that's one of the things he us more than anything. He, he has vowed that you will never worship him. You will worship him. And that was what he brought to Jesus in Matthew chapter 4. When he was fasting, he said, Bow down to me, and I will give you all these things. Now that he has worshipped you, he worshipped him. You know, the Bible said he himself sought worship. He wanted to worship like they are worshiping God. He wanted to put himself above the throne of God. Hallelujah. In other words, he wanted to take the place of God. You know what you say? He wanted to exalt yourself above the throne of God. What does that mean? He wanted to take his place now. He wanted to think about it. Hallelujah. But you know what? It's not even shameful that God is. Shameful. Angel, you know, there are ones that are that have military minds in them. So it's not it's not the person that has military mind that is the head of this. Like the president of Nigeria now, does he have the <laughs> he only has authority, does not have power. People that have power are the military and the police. They can kick him out if they want to do it. It's not true. So in the market is much. One of the people give me the mandate of war. Job talked about it, Ezekiel talked about it, Revelation talked about it, Jesus talked about it. And Jesus in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, said, Yes, I'm falling like lightning from heaven. Hallelujah. And Revelation chapter 12, from verse 7, he said it was what? He said it was one dude and cast down. Praise the Lord. I don't know what that question we asked. Any other question? Hallelujah. The last time I've been talking about the Lord. He is a great thing. The Sabbath is a great